Hi, Dave Kanicki here with the Farm Equipment Editor's Blog for July 26, 2011. If you really think about it, there's only three reasons that someone should write for publication. The first is to inform. The second is to offer an opinion that will foster a healthy discussion. And the third, if you're really good at it, to entertain. When I produce this blog every two weeks, it's my hope that not everyone will agree with me. If I do it well enough, it will combine at least the first two of these elements and result in creating some dialogue. In other words, I'm glad when someone challenges my views in a constructive way. As William Wrigley Jr. once pointed out, when two men in business always agree, one of them is unnecessary. In the eWatch editor's blog for July 12th, I made it pretty clear that I didn't agree with the U.S. Department of Transportation's thoughts about regulating farmers in much the same way they do commercial truck drivers. Shortly thereafter, I received a telephone call from an equipment dealer who asked, why shouldn't we require farmers to follow the same safety rules as truck drivers? I asked him to clarify his thoughts, and he did. He also asked that I not mention his name for fear of being thoroughly thrashed by his customers or censured by his fellow dealers. He went on to say, and I'm quoting here, If a farmer can haul a 40-ton grain cart or liquid manure tank down the highway without restrictions or regulations, it would be nice to know that they at least have to comply with the same safety requirements as everyone else. We see and hear of accidents every year where people get injured or killed. Yet, we have no accountability to ensure the equipment has its brakes or warning lights functioning properly. It's pretty hard to argue with that. He went on to say, and I'm quoting again, There is agricultural machinery today that can travel at 50 miles per hour. They should at least have to comply with annual safety inspection. Highway trucks must go through an inspection every year and school buses twice a year. But farm equipment can drive down the road in any condition at any age without proper working safety equipment. He continues, I don't think it's a bad idea that farm machinery that use the roads must submit to an annual inspection to ensure that all safety features meet highway requirements. He explains that he doesn't want government intruding into his business or his personal life any more than the next guy. But he added, this should be looked at as a safety issue. Are people's lives not important enough to assess this in that light? Most farmers are responsible people who maintain, update, and operate their equipment in a safe manner, he says. Making sure the equipment is safe is a personal choice they make. If they can afford to operate safely and efficiently, why can't everyone else? That's a good question. If anyone wants to respond, you can offer your comments here at farmequipment.com. And by the way, a few days ago, the U.S. Department of Transportation sent out a news release to clarify its position on this matter. You can read it also at www.farm-equipment.com. Thanks for checking in, and we'll see you next time.